Hey guys, it's K1 from K1 Production. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I have a really special tutorial for portrait photographer. So if you're a portrait photographer, stick in. Alright guys, so before we jump into Photoshop, let me explain why is it really important to care about this little detail. To step up your editing game level, game level, it's not a game level. To step up your editing game, uh, you have to care about these little details. So you enhance your photo in a professional way. It's 2019, I think bronze or like tan color on your skin tone, it's a very trendy look. So I thought about it and I was like, why not make a tutorial how you can achieve that look in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's just jump. But before we jump, please go ahead, check out my store. The link will be in the description. There might be a lot of interesting stuff, a lot of preset packet, a lot of free preset also. So check it out, the first line, the first line in the description box below. Anyway guys, so without further ado, let's jump in. All right guys, so right now we are in Photoshop. Uh, so this is our main image that we have. Um, when I was in Russia, I took this photo of my friend and it was one of my favorite photo in the whole uh, trip because the blending with the uh, subject and the background uh, fit very well. So there's one thing left that I want to do with this picture. It's already been edited. If you want me to make a full tutorial video about how I edited this picture, comment down below. Um, yeah, so I'm going to zoom in. Uh, as you can see, the face, everything looks really fine. I just want to correct the skin tone. You know, to pop up the skin, you have to tan it a little bit. You have to give it a, a brownie, you know, bronzy uh, color to the skin that looks really good on it. And usually this will not work if you are a very white, white person. But for a color skin like this, I think it's going to be really good um, to try it out. So how we can achieve that look? It's very simple. All you have to do is just go to gradient map on your adjustment layer. And then you're going to click on this and then... Uh, make sure you click on that little setting button and then click on photographic tuning. Once you choose photographic tuning, you get a bunch of presets like this. And these are one of the best, actually these are the best um, uh, gradient map preset for uh, your color skin. So I think I'm going to go with something bronzy. As I mentioned, I think this one would be really good on that. So let's go ahead and click OK and then... Obviously, we're not going to go with this result. It's ridiculous. We have to bring down and reduce the opacity and then change the blend mode to soft light. All right, so as you can see, we kind of got that look that we want. So before, after, before, after. But if you go back and fit the size of your photo, as you can see, it applies on the whole photo. But we only want it to apply it on the highlight of the photo, which is the skin tone. So to do that, we're going to go to FX and we have blending option. All right, guys, so here we have uh, the blending option here. So to take the brownie color skin tone uh, from the uh, shadow, all you have to do is, you know, take this out. As you can see, it's gradually reducing the amount of um, this skin tone. But there's one thing that you know you might notice when you do that. It's not blending well, as you can see. As you can see from here, it's not blending well. So what you're gonna do, uh, you're gonna stop somewhere here, or whatever the result you're happy with, and then hold Option, and then you have this. So what this will do, it will blend it seamlessly. As you can see, the result is different. So hold Option and do that. So as you can see, it's very, very cool technique to do that. So before, after, I really like it. Um, so as you can see, there is a very low skin tone color on your shadow. And in case if you want to only apply it to the skin color, if you don't want to apply it to your background, all you have to do is just go to brush tool and then choose black and then paint over the layer mask. So make sure you paint over the background. So yeah, pretty much like that. And boom, pretty much you're done. All right, so if we zoom in now and increase the opacity a little bit. So as you can see, we got that bronzy, 
you know, tune to it. And in case if you're not happy with the blending, uh, all you have to do is just go back to FX section and then blending option. And then you have this, you can always readjust it, you know, blend it more, you know, seamlessly. So yeah, I mean, pretty much that's it, guys. Um, if you like this tutorial, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Uh, and if you want to see the before and after, this is before, after. I, I feel like it's very, very important to know these uh, simple details for your portrait. Uh, to, to really step up your portrait level, that means you really take care of every details and stuff. So, yeah. I hope you learned something today. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe. And also give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to check out my store where you can find a lot of preset packs and free preset for your photos. And last but not least, follow me on all social media platform at uh, it's K1. So guys, um, that's it for today and have a great time.